down to the 20 yard line. Chris Eubanks takes it 62 yards. And there's something positive for number one tonight. Now the offense back on the field here, but the Panthers probably will be content to take some knees as this one has long been decided. Chris Eubanks, officially 58 yard kickoff return. And the Panthers can be content with knees if they so desire. You have the backup quarterback in there for Orange. It's Brandon Huss. Rodney Brooks had been the backup, but he's more of a strong safety now. And the head official comes over. He's going to start the clock. Huss is going to come out on the field. Got some backups in there, including 85, Trey Richardson, playing that chronic offense. And that will do it. Orange takes a knee, and that's going to do it. Long night here at Almond Stadium, but the Panthers win its 20th consecutive non-conference regular season game as they win here tonight over Western Guilford, 37-9. And now, Southern. We're going to pause for a two-minute timeout. You're listening to HillsboroughSports.com. A friendly welcome awaits one of the great public golf courses in North Carolina. Okanichi Golf Course is proud to be the home course for the Orange Panthers and the Cedar Ridge Red Wolves men's and women's golf teams. They're open to the public with memberships starting as low as $200. Okanichi is a locally owned third generation family business with some of the best champion Bermuda greens in the area. Visit Okanichi.com for more information. Or you can call 919-732-3435 to schedule a lesson, purchase gift cards, or learn more about tea times. And come meet me at Okanichi. Angie, your purse looks great. Where did you get it embroidered? Oh, thanks. My family got it for me at Happy Stitches in Hillsboro. It was a surprise for my birthday. It looks so professional. Does Happy Stitches do only purses? No, they monogram t-shirts, bags, stickers, coolers, beach bags, magnets, even Christmas ornaments. You name it, they do it. Perfect. With the holidays coming up, I've been looking for something for my Christmas tree. I'll visit Happy Stitches today. Call Wendy Allison at Happy Stitches today. Call 919 644 8455. That's 919-644-8455. Count on the experts at Goss Pump Specialists for all your filtration system and well pump installation needs. Goss Pump Specialists has been serving Durham and surrounding areas for over 65 years. They install all types of well pumps and filters, including reverse osmosis systems. They also sell, install, and service a complete line of quality water softening and conditioning equipment, including chemical-free filters. Mention this ad, and you'll get $50 off your next project. Call Goss Pump Specialist at 919-477-3222. That's 919-477-3222. Or go online at gosswellpumpspecialist.com. The Carolina Hilltopper Lacrosse Program is a proud sponsor of HillsboroughSports.com. They've been teaching the game of lacrosse to young men in Orange County for over six years with great results for many players who enjoy successful high school and collegiate careers. 49 players have played with the Hilltopper Lacrosse Program, then gone on to play at NCAA schools in the last five years alone. If you want to play select lacrosse with veteran coaches, check out HilltopperLAX.com and register for the upcoming fall season. Final score here tonight, Orange wins its final non-conference regular season game of the year, 37-9 over Western Guilford. Panthers will play only conference games from here on in. Tonight, Orange scored on its first possession as they had Jackson Schmidt throw a long pass to Cody Evans for 33 yards. Eventually, Ryan Puckett scored on a one-yard touchdown run. Evans was tackled at the one-yard line. The extra point by Francisco McKinley made it 7-0. Then, after Orange fumbled, but Western Guilford couldn't take advantage of it, the Panthers turned right back around. Peyton Wilson, one of the most electrifying runs you'll ever see, a 96-yard touchdown run 
That ensured his second 100-yard rushing game of the season. He got that tonight on only three carries. Panthers led after that 14-0. Western Guilford did score a field goal. That one came from their kicker, Mikey Kennedy, as he kicked a field goal from 28 yards in the second quarter. 14-3 was the score at that point. Orange, though, got a fumble recovery in Hornet territory. Ryan Sellers recovered the fumble, and that led to Francisco McKinley kicking a field goal. That made it 35-3, or excuse me, that made it 17-3 going into the halftime portion of tonight's festivities. And then to open up the second half, Peyton Wilson, Another huge play, 46-yard punt return. Looked like about four Hornets were around him, and somehow he found a way to step over all of them, and Peyton took it all the way down to the Hornet nine-yard line. From there, Ryan Puckett scored his second touchdown of the night. The extra point by Francisco McKinley made it 24-3. After that, Orange got three big runs from Bravante Beasley. One went for one yard, another went for eight, and then the other one went for 35. Bravante really showed off his lateral quickness on that drive. He wound up scoring, and Panthers got another touchdown there. Orange's final score of the night, set up by another long pass from Jackson Smith to Cody Evans. It went from 34 yards. Two-yard run by Hunter Pettiford was the final score of the night for Orange. That made it 37-3. Late touchdown chipped in by Western Guilford as they got it from number six. Their leading touchdown man, Khalil Barino, he scored from two yards out. Try for two failed. 37-9, the final score. Orange wins here tonight. We're going to come back, wrap it up. You're listening to HillsboroughSports.com. need flowers for that special occasion look no further than the flower patch in hillsboro a family owned and operated business since 1982 the flower patch delivers in hillsboro throughout northern orange county including cedar grove Eflin, and parts of rougemont and hurdle mills stop by their shop in north church and street and check out various gifts including candles vases frames scarves jewelry and novelty signs go to flowerpatchhillsboronc.com today for more information the flower patch send a little sunshine today. Where did you say we're going after church today? Oh, Jay's Chicken Shack on North Churton Street in Hillsboro. What's there? Oh, they have deep pressure fried chicken. It's a delicious recipe with great flavoring. They have great grilled chicken pitas. You can put gyro meat on there with a salad. That's great. I can't wait to. Plus, they have breakfast all day, including Saturday and Sunday, and they have delicious beef ribs, hamburgers, and chicken gizzards. Okay, thanks, Dad. I have to get dressed. And for dessert, they have homemade banana pudding and peach cobbler, plus Hershey's ice cream, which you'll just love. Thank you, Dad. They customize also all their sandwiches with whatever toppings you want, and now they deliver within a three-mile radius. They're family-owned in Hillsboro. Mom! Jay's Chicken Shack is open seven days a week at 646 North Churton Street in Hillsboro. Call 919-732-3591 and ask about their catering services. Our vehicles wind up in accidents from time to time, but where should you go if the exterior of your vehicle is damaged? Look no further than the folks over at Cardin's Body and Paint Shop located at Highway 157 in Caldwell. For over 30 years, William, Greg, John, and Dennis have been taking care of the people in Caldwell and their vehicles whenever they've been caught up in a fender bender. So contact the folks at Cardin's Body and Paint Shop if your car winds up in an accident. Call 919-732-6611. That's 919-732-6611. The Deer Pushers Association of America is a group dedicated to raise funds in support of educational programs, wildlife habitat enhancement, and acquisition, and the preservation of the shooting sports and hunting tradition for future generations. They serve Northern Orange, Southern Person, and all of Central North Carolina. To learn more about the Deer Pushers Association of America, contact Skinny Laws or Seth King directly. The Deer Pushers Association of America, killing tomorrow's trophies today.
and it's going to do it for our broadcast here tonight. Jackson Schmidt, 9 of 20 for 111 yards. Cody Evans had four receptions for 75 yards. Morgan Paschal, four receptions, 31 yards. Kendall Witted had one for five. Leading rusher in the game, Peyton Wilson. Three carries, 118 yards. And then you had a 70-yard night for Mavante Beasley, which is a career high for him. He got that on 10 carries. Also, Ryan Puckett had 31 yards tonight, and he scored two touchdowns. Well, I think you know what's coming up next. It's going to be Southern Durham to start off the Big 8 Conference schedule, and it's going to be a vital one for Orange. Needless to say, there will be a lot on the line. We'll be on the air next week. We're going to have a JV broadcast on Thursday night, and then we'll bring you the varsity game. They're closing things down on us here, folks, in the press box. It's been a long night, so we're going to call it a night ourselves. Thank you for listening. Thanks to all the sponsors, and we'll talk to you on Thursday for the JV game. <laughs> Southern Durham at Orange, and then we'll be on the air live for the varsity game next week right here, 7 o'clock the airtime for Orange versus Southern next week from the Bull City. Until then, this is Jeff Hamlin saying so long. Final score, Orange wins 37-9 over Western Guilford. Panthers 5-0 on the year. You're listening to HillsboroughSports.com.